Hey, estate planning attorney Paul Rabelais, and this is going to be a fast overview of what a living trust is and why so many people utilize them as part of their overall estate planning legal programs. So for starters, whenever someone dies with assets titled in their name, assets like their home, rental property, shares of stock, certificates of deposit, business interests, all of those assets that I just referred to are, t are typically referred to as probate assets. And upon your death, whether you have a will or not, these probate assets will be frozen and your surviving family members or heirs will not be able to sell or access these assets until they go through the court and attorney involved probate process, which many people perceive as time consuming, expensive, and just an all around hassle because in many cases it is all of those things. A quick side note that you, in addition to owning probate assets, you may also have assets in your name that do not require the involvement of attorneys, judges, and court orders to gain assets. This includes assets like life insurance and retirement accounts that have beneficiaries listed on the account information paperwork. These assets are often referred to as non-probate assets. So some people, in, a, in an attempt to keep their survivors and heirs from having to go through the probate process, establish what's called a living trust. Here's the idea. Create what's called a revocable living trust that you can change anytime. Transfer title of your probate assets to your trust. The key is things in a trust don't go through the court and attorney involved probate process at the courthouse when you die. And the trust states who's in charge of your uh, trust when you die. That person's often called the successor trustee. The trust instrument states what happens to the trust assets when you die. It serves as a replacement to your will insofar as the trust assets goes. And at, upon your death, that successor trustee that you named, often a family member, has the authority to distribute those trust assets to the trust beneficiaries in accordance with the terms of the trust instrument. A few other quick points worth addressing. In case you happen to have a trust and still die with probate assets that are titled in your name, when you have a trust, you'll also need a will typically referred to as a pour over will because it provides that upon your death, those probate assets that are in your name will go through the probate assets to be retitled or poured over into your trust. Also, as part of your entire estate planning program, you'll also have things like a durable or property health, uh, power of attorney, a healthcare power of attorney, and a living will, so that if during your lifetime you can't transact for yourself or you can't make your own medical decisions, you'll have the instruments in place so that your financial and healthcare wishes are honored by the appropriate people. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. We'll see you next time.